G'day trainer, so I take it you want to play Pokemon Infinite Fusion. So welcome to the pre-downloaded guide for Pokemon Infinite Fusion. In this video, I'll be going through the steps to enhance your Pokemon Fusion experience with the pre-downloaded sprites option. So let us dive right in. But before we jump in, please subscribe to the channel if this actually helped you out. It goes a long way of pushing my content out to more people so more people can play Pokemon. All right, let's go. So part one you want to download the Pokemon Infinite Fusion game. So what you want to do is you want to go to the Pokemon Infinite Fusion Discord. The links to everything I speak to are in the description below. You want to navigate all the way over to the Downloads tab on the left. And then what you want to do is you want to scroll down until you see this, the Infinite Fusion Zip. What you want to do is you want to click on it and it will start the download. As you can see, Infinite Fusion has downloaded. So what you want to do is you want to double click it. You will get a pop-up that says you can either open with WinRAR or WinZip. Now these are both extractor tools, so you'll need to download one of either one of them. The links to both of them are in the description below. I personally will go with WinRAR. Once you've extracted your Pokemon Infinite Fusion, you can click into it and then click into it once again. And then what you want to do is you want to double click on install or update. This will actually cause a black box to pop up on your screen. This is actually the download. Let it happen. It might take a little while, but that's okay. It took a little while for me, so I'm gonna come back once it's done. As you can see, now the download has completely finished and all this has been populated. We now have the game. But before we're actually able to play the game, we wanna download all the custom sprites so that when you do fuse two Pokemon together, something cool comes out rather than just some pre-generated garbage. So we're on to the next step, installing the sprites folder with the installer. Okay, so we're up to part two, installing the sprites with the installer. So what you want to do is you want to navigate back over down to the Discord and look for this link here, the preloaded sprites installer, brackets optional, and open it up. The first thing you want to do is you actually want to download the sprite installer. Click this button here and the download will begin. Similar to the Infinite Fusion, you will want to do the same with the Mega Man sprite installer. You want to double click it and again it will ask you to extract the files. I'm going to use WinRAR again. Click on the Mega Man sprite installer that you have just extracted. And then what you want to do is then you want to click on the application. Very important that you click on the application and nothing else. Double click it. And then what you want to do is you actually want to browse for the graphics folder for the Pokemon Infinite Fusion that you just downloaded. Okay, I selected mine, but if you're not too sure how to do it, all you would need to do is go down to the Pokemon Infinite Fusion launcher that you have just downloaded and open file location once you've right clicked. Doing so will take you directly to where you need to go. All you need to do from here is look for the graphics folder, which is right here. Once you have selected your folder, it's very easy. You just need to click install sprites. You're going to get a message that says, this is going to install roughly 2.37 gigabytes of 3,331, 786 custom and auto generated sprites to your graphics folder provided. Would you like to proceed? You want to hit yes. Now, everybody is going to get this big black screen and it will take a really long time to download the sprites depending on your internet connectivity. It can take between five minutes and 20. So don't stress if it's taking a really long time, it may just be your internet. So once that is done, the black window will actually close and you'll receive a completion message. The game will actually also open at the same time. Okay, so leaving everything as is, we're up to part three, instructions to prepare the game. What you now need to do is index the sprites. Now that the game has opened and that big black screen gone, all you want to do is go into the game as per usual. You can now see that all those sprites have been imported into the game. So once you've closed out of the game and you want to play it once again, you'll have to do just one thing. Navigate to the settings in your launcher, navigate over to troubleshoot and select use the preloaded version. Now, this means that anytime you play, you're actually going to be playing with the preloaded version rather than the automated one that pulls the sprites from the internet. Congratulations, you're all set and ready to play Pokemon Infinite Fusions with the enhanced sprites. Enjoy it!